Hello my friends and welcome back to Fallout 3. In yesterday's video, we did end our day at the vault Tech headquarters. We are going to head up to the administration level shortly, but after I finished yesterday's video, I did wander around on this level a bit more because I felt like I was rushing a little bit and did manage to find a big book of science. It was a, it was a little tricky and, and I fell through the floor again, <laughs> but now my science is up to 97. I just need to find like two more books and then I'm like there. But anyway, let's head up to the administration level and see if we can find a computer, a map, a something to help point out to where the vault, at least where I need to go to is located. I feel like that actually came out correctly. Oh, it's, it's from Robo Brains again. Oh, oh crap. And turrets. Of course there's turrets in the vault Tech headquarters. Of course there are. Hi, ma'am. She's got some amazing laser beams. With her claw hands. Thank you for almost killing me. Energy cells. All right. Let's attempt to go a little bit slower than we did yesterday. <laughs> I feel like I was in such a rush everywhere yesterday for some reason, and I wasn't. <gasps> Look, terminals, they work. Okay, system operation station three, tur oh, turret control. Let's turn off the turrets. I would, I just want to turn off, deactivate turret system. That's all I want. Okay. System Operation Station 3. Vault Tech Corporate Headquarters, Washington, D.C. Important Bulletins. Hmm. Message 9AC Security Notice. Due to repeated attempts to obtain protected Vault Tech information, the following security procedures have now been instituted. Number one, shutdown of the VTM B08 master brain requires authorization from all three system operate, operator terminals. All materials of a sensitive nature have been removed from external terminals and access to the mainframe room requires authorization from all three system operator terminals. Okay, so I think that's probably where I need to go. All mechanized security is now being handled by VTM B01 master brain via security uplink. Please do not tamper with this unit without an authorized service technician present. Well, I'm gonna mess with it probably. <laughs> Message 99D vending machines. Once again, someone has been tampering with the vending machines in the cafeteria. This practice violates section VT 00987 slash A and volume 17 of the employee handbook. Volume 17 of the employee handbook. Okay, I've never, well, I've worked at a couple places that had a handbook, but like I never actually read them. 17 volumes. <laughs> it was not, they were not that big. Anyway, if the machine malfunctions or does not dispense its contents properly, please refrain from kicking, shaking, punching, hitting with a fire extinguisher or filling the coin slot with fecal matter. I mean, these are some very specific examples. Message 101C bathroom breaks. It has recently come to our attention that employees are abusing the liberal breaks policy as outlined in section VT00733 slash D in volume 18 of the employee handbook. As a result, human resources and administration have come to an agreement on a reasonable time reduction. As of today, all bathroom breaks will be reduced from 2.37 minutes to 2.25 minutes. I don't even know how you came to that conclusion. Message 102A Vault 112 done. This is just a quick announcement to let you know the, that work on Vault 112 has been completed, supporting the latest and greatest in Vault technology. Way to go, Techites. Message 114D Vault 92 changes. The following item has been added to the Vault 92 requisition request. 14 WNB type noise generators, 14 broadcast relays, 14 monitoring terminals. If these changes are in error, please contact the supplies and planning department immediately. Noise generators? That does not sound good. Is that where I need to go? Maybe? Uh, mainframe station three access approval. 
And we have been approved. Master Brain shut down. Um, I have a note added as to Vault Tech security procedures. Okay. So we need to find two more, two more terminals. Hopefully they didn't need to be done in a certain order. She's kind of floating in the air, isn't she? Uh, was this the door I came in? It was. There's a stim pack and mentats. No, I wanted the mentats. That's money right there. Okay, before we go upstairs, let me finish over here, I guess. Hmm. Okay, this must be the Master brain room, server room. I have some something, something, something. Like all that. Okay. Mmm. <sighs> yummy. Radiated Coke. What? Well, Nuka Cola, not Coca Cola. Oh! I shut off the turret! Maybe I only shut them off on one floor. Okay. Station one. Any difference in the bulletins? No. Okay, mainframe station one access approval. Approved master brain shut down. Hope I'm not doing it wrong. Oh, is it right here? Really? Baltech employee terminal. Important bulletins, all the same. Company store. Baltech baseball cap. T shirt. Leather bomber jacket, golf tee, drink cozy, lunch. Lunch. Oh, I'll take a bobblehead. Lunchbox. Page employee. Where can I pick up all the stuff that somebody just purchased for me? I mean, wouldn't that be awesome? It was like, here's your purchase on the way out, you know? That's thankfully taken care of. Okay. Uh, mainframe station two access approved and then master brain shut down approved. Okay. Lunchbox. I mean, I don't want all these things. If I was going to make like the lunchbox mines or whatever they're called, I'm sure this would be a great place to come for all that stuff, but I'm, I'm not doing that. That requires way too much planning in advance and working. I like to run and shoot things. I feel like I've established that concept of mine. Okay, there is a turret right out here. Where are you? Nowhere. Where's the terminal for the master brain, like, to shut things off? <laughs> She's like, come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> like, no, no, thank you. I'm good now. Thanks. Bye. brain was just another robot 
You have accessed the master brain's internal mechanism. If you destroy its uplink, it will cause all the automated security units in Vault Tech to shut down. Destroy security uplink. Great. I, I, I was, I, I don't know what I was expecting with the master brain. <laughs> I really don't. I was expecting like a big like wall of computers to talk to me or something like that. Where does the, these stairs go? Yes. Oh, I wonder if that's the other side it goes to. All right. I'll take all that stuff. This looks like a fancy person's office. He's got a curved desk. It was like an entryway to their offices, so they must be important. Right? Maybe? Probably not. Grognak the Barbarian. Um, uh, melee? Melee. Turret control. Locked average. Well, let me... Turn them off just in case. They really do seem to be getting easier. Like there's less choices to pick from and more duds to, or more of the things that you can do to get rid of a dud than, um, oh, activate. Oh, well, I guess it was already deactivated. Um, so getting my science skill up is really doing me lots of favors, which is, which is awesome. See, this is what I was expecting a master brain to look like. But this is probably where I get my vault tech. Yeah, vault tech mainframe. Download vault tech locations and access codes. Notes. You've downloaded the locations and access codes to 87, 92, 101, 106, and 108. So 101 is where I'm from. 106 is where I've been, I think, right? Um, 101, and then I've been to 106. So, 92 is up there. 108. 87. That's all the way out here, girder shade. Oh yeah, that's where I gotta go for the naughty nightwear thing, right? All right, so now I just got to get out of here. <laughs> that was the first step that I wanted to do today. I don't want to go right to Vault 92. I I want to actually go to Rivet City next. Because vendors, and I've got lots of quests for things to do there besides just find my dad. My dad who abandoned me. But I'm not bitter at all. Down and down and down we go. To the other side, finally, of vault Tech guest relations. This was the Protectron. I, I sniped. Oh, Nuka-Cola. Tales of Junktown Jerky Vendor, which does what? Barter, okay. Skills I'll eventually get up whenever I level again. <laughs> Leveling is definitely, oh, sugar bomb, much slower to come by. But I feel like I've been doing more exploring than like questing lately, which I'm not mad about. Okay. So I have a hundred pounds plus of room. So I don't think I need to go back to Megaton like I'd planned to do. I think I can just try to head straight over to Rivet City. Trying to think the easiest way to get there. <laughs> if I had this fast travel point, 
Outcast Outpost. I think if I start there, actually, no, I think maybe I might just start here at Willem's Wharf and wander my way down there. Let me actually go outside. <laughs> Let's go outside and do this because it's not going to work from in here. All right, I know what auto save, but I need a quick save anyway for my own sanity. All right, so let's... Well, I could come here to the tepid sewers, but can I come all the way down this way, I wonder? Let's try it. I'll be on the right side of the river, or what's left of the river. But I don't know if I can get there this way. Oh, there's all kinds of beasties. Well, it seems like I can. Oh yeah, this is Dukov's place, right? Hmm. So far, it seems like I can go this way. Well, I'm going to wander in this general direction towards Rupert City, and I'll bring you back in if I find anything. I'm not sure how much exploring I want to do along the way because I would like to get to Rivet City. I mean, high hopes today, but well, oh, oh, well, I already found something. I was like, it's a Christmas tree. Oh. Hi guys. How's it going? I like your tree with lights on it. It's not Christmas time, it's Halloween time. So they should be orange, to be fair. I mean, I just seem to bloody mess everything these days. It's, it's almost becoming, <laughs> it's almost becoming too much because then it's hard for me to loot properly because I don't know who's who. All right, then there was another guy over here, I think. Yes. All right, do you guys have anything? Like some big books of science? That'd be appreciated. Oh, medics, right? Take all of those. I could take a little nap. Get my health back. Duck and cover. Sneaking. Explosives. Oh, that does make sense. Yeah. Locked very hard. Not getting that one. It's okay. I shall survive. Rad roach meat. Dirty water. Hmm. Yeah, so like I was saying, I'm not sure I want to go into every building I might find. I may just make a, a note like I have been doing my handwritten page, notebook paper page <laughs> with all the places I need to go back to. Um, did I loot this ammo box? I did. So I may just do that because I would, like I said, I would I'd love to get to Rivet City today, but I walk slow. And there's all these things in my way. But anyway, I will pick you back up again if exciting things should happen. Well, I thought I was going to fight just a couple centaurs, but no. Apparently, we're going to fight an army of super moons. Holy crap. There's a bunch of these guys over here. Well, where's the... How can I... I mean, I want to kill them. Hi. You're gross with your tongue and gross. Yuck. Did he just yell grenade? He did just yell grenade. I look so awesome when I shoot with my power armor. <laughs> I'm so cool. All right, let's loot as we go. Why, you stupid humans always fight? Why, you stupid super mutants always attack me? Holy crap, that's a big minigun. Ow, 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 that hurts. Please stop shooting me. Yes, I shot you in the face. Blow. Huh. Oh, and I leveled! Yay! I'm clapping like a five-year-old. But I leveled! <laughs> I 
Okay, so let's see. Uh, small guns for sure. Um, I'll get my repair up to 90 as well. My medicine up to 85. I could finish off my science and lockpick. It would be the smart thing to do probably, but I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. I wanna get some points into energy weapons. So continue, all right. Now the hard part. Lawbringer, I'm very tempted to get this one because I wanna see, um, I want to see how that all plays out. I'm obviously not going to be a contract killer. I am way too goody two shoes for that. I'd be back out of negative karma in like two quests, knowing my luck. Uh, but Cyborg though, you've made permanent enhancements to your body. Cyborg perk instantly adds plus 10 to your damage, poison, radiation resistance, and 10 points to the energy weapon skill. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to get Lawbringer. I know that's one I want to definitely get because I want to see how this, this what I'm assuming is another quest plays out. I'll probably get Cyborg in the future, but let's just get Lawbringer now and, and, see how, and see how this goes. So Lawbringer says that once you have the Lawbringer perk, any evil character you kill will have a finger on their corpse, which is not at all creepy. This finger can then be sold to a certain person whose identity is disclosed when you take the perk for caps and positive karma. Because I just, I mean, I'll just rob a bunch of things. Is there a, a finger? There's not a finger on this super mutant. And no quest has popped up. Oh, Matt Marker's added. Note added the regulators. Oh. Attention lawbringers of the Capital Wasteland. The regulators require your aid in bringing the scum and pestilence that inhabit our home to justice. Report to Sonora Cruz at the regulator headquarters for details. Um, regulator HQ. Hey, I've got an actual quest or fast travel point close to it. That never happens. Ew, no, I just want the ammo. If you guys have any. Locked average. I mean, if I was into miniguns right now, I would totally excited about that ammo but i'm not that into mini guns at the moment because my big gun skills are probably gonna be the last ones to get leveled let's be honest no melee weapons no unarmed might be the last one to get uh points added to it besides just books but i'm here there were hang on there were subway signs over here let me see if there's a fast travel point over here because I've gone a little ways without any fast travel markers, which is kind of annoying. Because no doubt I'm going to come back down here at some point in the future. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see, there is a metro station. Perfect. Irradiated metro. Well, I will have to come back and do that later. <laughs> but I'm slowly but surely getting closer to Rivet City. Pirate Pele. Boats and bait. Rentals, worms, ice cream, and talking parrots. But look, it's the Jefferson Memorial. It has pipes and stuff coming out of it. I don't feel like that exists like that in real life, but um, that's kind of cool. Door to boats and bait. Oh, I hear. Hi. Hi. Oh, we'll take some cigarettes and first aid and money and more cigarettes. I know there's a terminal. I'm going to get there. More money. I don't need any alcohol, I don't think. What is that? Detergent. All right, locked average terminal. Okay, any info? Maybe. Oh, disengage lock. There's a safe I missed. Oh, right in my face. <laughs> right in my face. Well, we'll take all those things. I don't see anybody here, so, and it wasn't marked as stealing, but even if it was, I'd take it anyway. Oh, Jefferson Memorial, we're getting closer. <laughs> I have discovered 
the Jefferson Memorial, and there also be super mutants here. So I have to take care of them. Oh, and he threw a grenade. That was not very nice. shot in a super mutant. Oh it, it, oh, it makes all the struggle earlier in the game so worth it. I'm like, something is spitting at me. That's gross. I say right now, that's really gross. Okay, so it looks like I can go into the Jefferson Memorial. But I, like with everything else right now, I don't want to. Plus, somebody is spitting their phlegm at me, which is really gross. So gross. What is with all the pipes? I'm sure it'll get explained in the future at some point. Okay. Rivet City is right around here-ish. Oh. I'd help if I go down. I feel like when they were describing it, it was it. Oh, there's another one. It was an aircraft carrier or some large, you know, some large military vessel. And this looks like that. I think it's its body parts that were rolling down <laughs> the ramp. Um, huh. Yeah, I think this is it. And now it's a matter of how do I get in there? That part looks broken off. So I don't think that's Part of it, maybe? I don't know, actually. Ah, there's a sign. This is probably the entrance. <gasps> I actually made it to River City today. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> um, no, this is Rivet City. How do you, let's put the gun away. get in, I wonder. Oh, hello. Carlos. Hey, can you help me? I need water. Purified water, please. I don't know if I have any. Um, I don't have any water to give you. I'm sorry. Oh, please. If you find some, please. I, I will bring you some. Ah, intercom. Security intercom. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. I was gonna say, like, they're so trusting. Wow. That's pretty cool. They're so trusting about it, but there's a guy standing out there. They obviously wouldn't open it if it was a bunch of super mutants or raiders. Then again, how do you know I'm not a raider in disguise? That's, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty, a pretty secure state of being. Hold it right there. Hi. State your business in Rivet City. Oh, I'm looking for my father. I'm looking for Dr. Lee. I'm here to do research on the city's history. I don't answer to you, pal. Oh, I'm just wandering around. Forget it. I'm out of here. Let's do that. I, I'm doing here to do research on the city's history. Research, huh? Uh-huh. I can't help you there, but you're free to ask around inside. Just don't start any trouble. Well, where's the fun in that? Oh, is there anyone on this ship named Pinkerton? Um, let's try, start there. Are those rumors still floating around? Look, I don't have time for swapping ghost stories with you. Pinkerton's a legend, dead or long gone. Don't care much as I've got real people to take care of. Go bother someone else. Oh, okay, good. His name is Harkness. Hmm. Uh, do you know about the Rivet City's history? He just said no, but let's ask it anyway. I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? <laughs> I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. Yeah. 
I'm kind of lost. Can you help me? I suppose. Where is Dr. Lee's lab? The door on the left goes to the stairwell. From there, just keep heading west. Okay. Um... And I... Where can I get medical help? Dr. Preston is in the upper deck, four section. That's the top interior floor in the southwest end. Is there some place I can sleep? The common room is free, but the beds are lousy. Huh. It's on the midship deck. A big open room with lots of beds. You can't miss it. If you want to sleep well rested, rent a room from Vera Weatherly. She's on the upper deck. Ooh, it's like a hotel inside a ship. Cool. Uh, who's in charge around here? It doesn't work like that. I'm in charge of security. Dr. Lee runs most of everything else. Huh. Bannon kinda represents the merchants. He also owns Potomac Attire. Merchants, plural. I heard that. What can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. That's the, the butt of the ship, not the pointy end, right? <laughs> Why did you all decide to live on this old rusty tub? We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Yeah, I would... Nothing can get in here without our say-so. I, I would tend to agree with that. If I had to live in the capital wasteland, this would seem like a relatively safe place. Well, thank you for the help, Mr. Harkness. Carry on, then. And she's just like, and we're done. Bridge to the tower, marketplace, marketplace closed at night. I, I don't know. Well, let's start the marketplace. Oh, wow. Well. What time of day is it? 2.42. Plenty of time to go shopping and talk to all these people. A workbench. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Hello, Mr. Flack. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. I was going to say, can you turn around while you're talking to me? Aren't you afraid someone will use your own guns to rob you? This is quite a selection, but they're all in lousy condition. Can I see what kind of guns you have for sale? I need to repair my stuff. Well, let's ask the first one. Here? In Rivet City? Yeah. I'm packing, and most of the rest of these guys are packing. Not to mention security. I do love your, like, moustache. I don't know what that's called, but it's... it's hand, is it the handlebars? But anyway, you ever hear of a guy named Pinkerton? You mean Genius Boy? Yeah, I've heard of him. Supposedly built Rivet City. They probably think he invented bread, too. Idiots. I... Lately, he's even been blamed for the noises in the broken ship bow. Anyone with half a brain would know that's just the mire lurks. Oh, was that the part of the ship that's not part of the ship? Is there anywhere I can get a drink on this tub? Try the muddy rudder. They don't ask too many questions <laughs> down on the lower deck. That's a great name. Um, know anything about the history of the Rivet City? Fred, I can't help you, pal. Been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he knows it all. <laughs> all right, I'm going to repair and see what this guy has for sale. All right. I'm up to 7,000 caps and I've got Give all kinds of if ammo. You need anything else. If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. Yeah. I didn't actually uh, look to see if he had any special shiny new guns. I just bought more guns to repair my current guns with. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Oh. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. The ship's water isn't much better. If we don't get fresh water soon, we'll all end up like her. Mm-mm. Rivet City Supply. Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Hello, Seagrave Holmes. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. Okay. You got a T-51B? No, then you don't have everything? That's so rude. How do I know you won't rip me off? What have you got to sell? Um, let's try the last one. I've got a little bit of everything. Oh, it's just taking me right to the... 
right to the right to the store exit. Okay, well, what do you know about the Rivet City's history? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb, but I never really cared about the politics. Can you think of anyone from back then that might know more? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. Where is this guy? He must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. Oh. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Mm. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. I see. Well, I... seems like I need to go there. Well, what can you tell me about the reconstruction? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the mire lurks used to nest, and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I, bet. I guess the mutants and the mires got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Hmm. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Enough about Rivet City. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. Oh. Uh, do you know where I can get something to drink? The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. This is why I ask all the questions repeatedly, because I get different answers. <laughs> what do you got to sell? Okay, I should go. See you later. See you later, sir. My dad Gary's galley. If you want anything to eat, talk to him. It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. I'll be right with you. Angela Stolly? Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? She's even got like a little thing going on. So what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart though. Real smart. What's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. That would probably be a good thing. Do the men on this ship give you much trouble? Kind of came out of nowhere. You mean like hitting on me? I guess. No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Oh. So you and, uh, you and Diego are in love? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Fortunately, you just can't force a man's attentions. You can't. You're a woman just seduce him. Men are such pigs. Forget him. I I don't actually know which one to pick. First one, maybe? Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Oh, he's a priest? Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. Uh, okay. Can I ask you about Rivet City's history? I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Hmm. Uh, what do you have? Here's a menu. You do not have refined punga fruit. Sugar bombs, okay. Bye. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Mei Wong. Don't Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you one of them? One of who? Uh, lady, you're nuts. I'm not going to hurt you. Who, what are you so scared of? Yeah, let's go with... I'm one of them. I have been for years. Who? Who is one of them? <laughs> we'll go with the middle one. I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. Okay. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. Oh, no. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. How do you know he's a slaver? Don't worry, I would never turn in a runaway slave, so you're an escaped slave. Now I understand. Hey, it's none of my business. Let the let the past be the past. Yeah, I'm not gonna turn in a runaway slave. Really? Oh, thank you. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. Hmm. Here's 25 casts. Maybe you can buy yourself a gun. Let me think about it. You're on your own. I'm not getting involved. I mean, I'd rather find the guy and talk to him and maybe deal with it myself, but let's give her some money to defend herself. Thank you. 
I'll go to Flack and Shrapnel's just before closing. I don't have anything to give you, but I think I can trust you with a secret. Oh, really? If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. Okay, gain karma. I'm such... I mean, I'm not opposed to gaining karma, but it's more... I mean, look at me. I'm such a goody two-shoe. I am very good urban legend. Bless you. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to take the opportunity to just pause here in the lovely Rivet City with so far it looks like five vendors, which is amazing. And on Sunday, we will continue talking to everyone, looking around, talking to everyone, probably no doubt a whole lot, and and see what new quests and trouble and things I can maybe mess up. And I probably won't because I have so much good karma. Everybody just loves me. But now I'm rambling. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe. And I will see you again on Sunday with another new Fallout 3 video.